giving your metal utility cart a new coat of spray paint helps to freshen it up, helps to match the decor that you're going for, but you don't have to go out and buy a whole new utility cart just to fit your decor. So we're going to look at how to spray paint your metal utility cart that you bought for like $25, $30, and we're going to turn it into something that fits your style, that fits what you have in mind, and we're going to do it budget friendly for just a few dollars with a can of spray paint, some sandpaper, and that's pretty much it. My name is Brittany and welcome to my Boldly Ride YouTube channel where we talk about DIYs, home decor tips, tricks, and ideas, and all the things needed for you to grow more bold in your faith with Christ. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with all the new videos that are coming out. So this is the metal utility cart that we're going to be using today, and it's just a metal, plain, three-tiered utility cart that you can find pretty much anywhere, and you probably already have it in your home if you're watching this video. But we're going to take it and we're just going to give it a fresh new coat of spray paint, and we're going to change it and transform it into what you want. All of the, the products that I'm using will be linked in the description box below so that you can find the exact products if that's what you wanted to go with. If not, you can be adventurous and look for similar products or things that fit with what you're looking for. So let's get into some of the supplies that you will need. So the first one is going to be your spray paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Paint and Primer Black Satin Spray Paint. And it looks really well, it does a really great job, but in my honest opinion, I think I like the Krylons Color Master Paint and Primer Black Satin Spray Paint over the Rust-Oleum's just because I like the black color look of the Krylon better. It's just a little bit more muted and not quite as bright as Rust-Oleum's. You'll need 220 grit sandpaper in order to smooth everything out before you spray paint. Then you're also going to need some safety items like eye protection and a mask just to protect you from the spray paint itself. You're also going to need some gloves just to keep from getting spray paint on your hands. And then some other items that you'll need are a canvas sheet or a tarp. You're going to need a wrench and you're also going to need a backdrop for your spray painting. So let's look at the really simple steps to go through this. All right, step one, you wanna unscrew the bolts to detach the shelves. So here, there's like a little metal plate on the outside of it, and you just unscrew that bolt and it pops right out and then you can lift up the shelf. So the next step is to cover the wheels. I used just plain plastic wrap that you can find in your kitchen. Um, and I use that to wrap around the wheels because it sticks really well and it sticks together really well and it just helps prevent the wheels from getting spray painted. So for the next step, you want to lightly sand the metal surface. Now, I completely and totally messed up and I didn't sand first before I applied my paint and primer. And so now what you're seeing here is I'm having to go back through and sand off the paint and then actually sand the metal so that the paint will actually stick. If you dealt with the same issue or are dealing with the same issue, then go ahead and click the link above in the top corner or I'll put it in the description below. Um, but basically I just walked you through how to fix an issue if you didn't sand first and your paint is just not sticking. But I'll walk you through how to how to fix that whole process. But if you didn't make the mistake and you're starting out fresh, which is good, then you want to just lightly sand the uh, metal first. And you're just going to take the 220 grit sandpaper. You don't want it to be really coarse because you, otherwise when you spray paint, the, the paint will really make the coarse lines from the 60 grit sandpaper stand out too much so you just want to use a fine 220 grit sandpaper to really smooth it all out and that way the paint can actually stick and adhere to the surface that you're painting on. Then take a piece of paper towel and just wipe off all of the dust and debris so that it doesn't get stuck underneath the paint. With all that done you're ready to start spray painting. Each can of spray paint is a little bit different with how you 
shake it or how long you're supposed to shake it and how many layers you put on so just go ahead and read the directions on the can of spray paint first and then you can shake it up really well to get that paint and primer mixed really well in the can and then you can start spray painting one really cool trick that you can use when you are spray painting is you can get a box that's big enough for whatever you're spray painting and you stick that inside and it really helps to keep the spray paint contained in an area without spray painting whatever's behind it and keep the spray paint from blowing around. So I found that it was easier to spray paint the individual shelves first and let those dry and then move on to spray painting the actual stands that the shelves sit on. I don't normally do two coats of spray paint, um, mostly because I'm cheap and I like making DIY projects budget friendly, but I do really think that one coat of spray paint and then little touch ups where I didn't quite get it really actually does work well and it saves me money, saves me time, and I'm not having to put on two coats of spray paint. But you do have to wait a little while for the spray paint to dry, just so that when you do handle it and turn it around to make sure that you got every single spot, you're not leaving any glove marks behind or any fingerprints behind. Don't forget to spray paint the bottom of the shelves. I almost forgot and you don't want to miss that because that is part of the shelf and you'll still see it if you don't spray paint it. Then when you're all done spray painting, I would just wait about 24 hours for it to just completely and totally dry before you reassemble it. Okay, so here is the before picture of it. And now this is what it looks like after we got done spray painting. I absolutely love this. I am not disappointed in this at all. It looks so good and even though I had some issues sanding in the first place and didn't get it as smooth as I would have liked it to, it still looks really good. And I also decided to take the top off so that I can fit this really beautiful basket in it and be able to stick it under my coffee bar where it's going to go. So here's what it looked like before at my coffee bar. It's just messy and just not all together, but here is what it looks like afterwards. And oh my goodness, guys, this looks so good. But now you can kind of see why I took that top piece off and it just looks a lot better underneath that coffee bar with those baskets and with the colors that just really complement the color scheme I'm going for this coffee bar. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to transform and update and spray paint your metal utility cart. And if you really enjoyed this video, then hit subscribe below to stay updated with more DIY projects and videos to help you in your next DIY project.